Diffusion. Brought to you by my book of chemistry. The word diffusion comes from the Latin word diffundir, which means to spread out. Diffusion in chemistry is the movement of substances from high concentration to low concentration. Imagine you have a closed container. In this container, there are molecules in one corner, in this case, smiley faces. Molecules move and bounce around one another. They move constantly in all different directions. Naturally, molecules move to less crowded area as they are pushed around by surrounding molecules. After molecules are evenly spread out, they still move around in all different directions. However, they are still evenly spread out. Diffusion is due to Brownian motion. Molecules constantly move around in random motion, but this requires no energy. Therefore, diffusion is a passive transport. On a side note, did you know that Albert Einstein published a paper about Brownian motion as the third of three famous papers in 1905 and awarded the Nobel Prize in 1921 in part for this? Yes, I did. We can find diffusion examples in everyday life. Now let's look at some examples. A drop of food coloring diffuses throughout the water in a glass. After you blow out the birthday candle, the smoke spreads to all parts of a room. <coughs> Fart smells. Rate of diffusion can be changed by temperature. As the temperature goes up, molecules become hot and they move faster. Therefore, rate of diffusion increases. Rate of diffusion can also be changed by pressure. The container becomes smaller as the pressure is applied. This makes molecules stressed out and they move faster. Again, the rate of diffusion increases. In summary, diffusion is the movement of substances from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe!